Do you know what every math teacher's favorite food is? Pizza pie! Yeah! Welcome back to another episode of Math with Ihan. In honor of Pi Day, we have put together a video with one of our 2017 MathCon winners, Ayman. Check it out! Hi, this is Pizzeria. It's my birthday today and I want to have a party. Yes, this is the Pizzeria and happy birthday! What would you like to order today? I would like to order pizza for the entire world. How many pizzas do I need to order? Um, I don't know, an infinite amount maybe? Hey, yeah, I have to hang up, I got things to do here. Wait, wait, I'm gonna have to surprise my friends by not giving them the same amount of pizza. Whoever comes earlier will get more pizza. Huh? Let me explain. The first guest will get a whole pizza, my second guest will get half a pizza, and my third guest will get a quarter of a pizza, and so on. If I do this, how many pizzas will I need to order? Um, okay, I'm going to put you on hold, and we'll figure this out, okay? All these numbers have different denominators. This is impossible to calculate. There's got to be a way. We don't get paid enough for this. Does anyone work here? I need to order some pizza. Hello? We're doing, We're doing a, a math, math problem. problem. Oh, a math problem? I happen to be a math teacher. Allow me. What if we call this sum as x and multiply each side by 2? You need to prepare only two pizzas to feed your party, or even the entire world. I mean, this is unbelievable. You made that equation look like a piece of cake. I mean pie. Pizza pie. OK, I have the answer. So you only need two whole pizzas for your party. And guess what? You can feed the whole world if you wanted to. Great. I'll take two pizzas. Um, but I have another challenge for you. I need both pizzas delivered in rectangular boxes. And furthermore, I need them to be delivered in only two boxes. Okay guys, so now we need to find out how big two rectangular boxes need to be in order to fit two large pizzas. To explain this problem in short, we will start with a circle, like our pizza. We will then divide the circle into large equal parts and arrange them like a rectangle. Although the slices do not fit like a perfect rectangle, we can see that it can take the shape of one. If we take a step back and divide the circle into smaller equal parts, the area will look more like a rectangle. Imagine this. The circle can be divided an infinite amount of times. When this is done each time with smaller and smaller slices, the shape of these pieces will form an even more fitted rectangle. Actually, with each length equal to the half of the circle, pi times r, and each width equal to the radius r, the area becomes pi r times r, which is equal to pi r squared, since the area of the rectangle is length times width. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, INAMON, and MathCon's channel especially if you're a math genius. And be sure to check out MathCon's website and follow their social media as well. Bye-bye.